Officially announced on November 15, 2018 at a small on-campus press conference, the now Edwards Family Athletic Center is just weeks away from completion and the anticipated move-in date in early fall 2022. The transformational project, when finished, will have been completed in just over two years from shovels in the ground to the moment our Aggie student-athletes will walk through the doors for the first time. The 52,000 square foot facility is the latest and certainly the grandest in a series of capital improvement projects at UC Davis, which includes significant renovations to LaRue softball field, Hickey Gymnasium, and the University Credit Union Center, as well as new buildings at the Shaw Aquatic Center and Dobbins Baseball Stadium. This comprehensive athletics facility sits just north of UC Davis Health Stadium and will be noticeable to visitors coming to campus via Hutchison Boulevard. The main entry to the building, hidden from street view, was strategically placed to provide easy access from the Bob Foster Center and surrounding bike parking areas. Once inside the building, guests will certainly notice the large branding moments that tower above them in the atrium and will be drawn to the Bruce and Marie West Auditorium. This theater-style classroom space is as dynamic as it is functional, large enough for a campus lecture or football team meeting and also divisible into two smaller spaces to accompany simultaneous users. Across the hall from the auditorium is the Muir Family Sports Medicine Center. This new hub for our athletic training and sports medicine staff will ensure that UC Davis student athletes receive the best possible physical care leading up to and following competition. An exciting element of this space is the hydrotherapy room where athletes will access hot and cold recovery pools as well as the HydroWorks underwater treadmill to enhance in training and rehab from injury. But it gets better. Perhaps the most striking moment from someone's first trip through the Edwards Center is when they reach the Paul and Nancy Salaberry Sports Performance Center. This new strength and conditioning area is nearly four times the size of the current Toomey Field weight room and will feature cutting edge equipment along with a nutrition bar and access out to the all grass Bob Biggs practice field. When exploring the second floor, the first place to visit is the Klein Family Educational and Professional Success Center. This space will be the hub for our program's Aggie Evo activity. It will have study and lounge space for our athletes, as well as small meeting rooms that are available for athlete groups to reserve. Audiovisual equipment will also be installed here for recording podcasts and for individual interview preparation and practice. The athletic department's senior administrators will find a new home in the Edwards Center as well, with meeting room space, a small library, and open study workspaces for students and staff to utilize, courtesy of the Corette Foundation. And, as is the case with most of the building, there will be large pictures and indicators about what makes UC Davis special and unique. And the view from the second floor patio isn't too bad either. Just down the hall, the football office suite has a home for every position coach. A large meeting room, two smaller meeting rooms, an operations hub, video coordinator's office, and academic support all in one location. Our coaches now have a singular spot near the football stadium to call home, something that has not been the case for over 15 years. And visitors will be wowed by the visuals on each wall, bringing home Aggie pride each and every day. Football isn't the only program who will have new office space at the facility. UC Davis Field Hockey and Lacrosse, both who have their team locker rooms in the adjacent Bob Foster Center, will each move into new office suites overlooking Hutchison Boulevard, giving them a dramatic improvement of amenities when compared to their current location. Another notable upgrade is the office space for the men's and women's basketball coaches. Each suite having four offices, a meeting room, open lounge space, and a small kitchenette for grab-and-go meals. As with other locations, the teams will memorialize big moments in their program's history, and the walls will don inspirational quotes from like-minded leaders. But perhaps what stands out the most at the Edwards Family Athletic Center is how much thought and preparation went into the design and layout of the facility. Thanks to leaders like Bruce and Diane Edwards, Aggie athletes now have a home to call their own and a new future to explore. Please join us on Saturday, September 24th, 2022 for the dedication and celebration of this transformational facility.